All right, this video is going to go through finding slopes um, from coordinates. So today I'm just going to be able to give you two coordinates and you should be able to find the slope um, of the line that goes through these two points without actually graphing them. All right guys, so we are going to try to find the slope of a line that goes through these two points. All right, so previously when we found slope, we know that to find the slope, it's rise over run. Okay, so quickly I'm just going to count the rise and the run. So I'm going up 2, there's my rise, and over 3. So my slope is 2 over 3, and then I'm looking at the line real quick, and I see that from left to right, it's going up, so it's a positive 2 thirds, which is what I have. Now, today I'm going to show you another way to find slope um, by just looking at the two coordinates. All right, and to do that, um, we're going to use a little formula that's called change in y over change in x. Now this little triangle here, that's a little symbol that means change. It's kind of like the difference or how much it changed by. So again, these two triangles just mean change. So I'm going to show you kind of what that means. So first thing I'm going to do is label my x and y axis just so I kind of keep that in mind. So what you do is you want to figure out, you're going to look at the two y coordinates. So here's my two y coordinates, a 2 and a 4. And you want to know, well, what did you change by? How much did I go up? Okay, well, it's easy to kind of see from 2 to 4, it changed by 2, right? Well, to find the change, really you're finding the difference, like how much space is between those two points. So what you can do is it doesn't matter which of these two coordinates you start with, you're going to find the difference in them, so you're going to subtract. So I'm going to take 4, take away 2. Okay, now... That's my change in my y. So that's really how much did I, am I going up? It's kind of the same as the rise over there. Okay, now for the bottom of this, I need to find the change in the x. So I'm going to look at my two x coordinates. It's a 0 and a 3. And you can think real quick to yourself, well, from 0 to 3, I just went over 3. Right, the x is how much I go over. Okay, so if I kind of think about that, I'm going to find the difference between those. How much space is between 0 and 3? So to do that, you can subtract. So I'm going to take 3 minus 0. Okay, now when I work this out, 4 minus 2, I get 2. And 3 minus 0, I get 3. So I got a slope of 2 thirds, which is the same as I got when I counted before. Okay, so I just want to quick show you another little example. If I just gave you um, a couple points here. Okay, so all we did was we kind of found out the, the difference between those two points, like how much space. So we did the y's first, which is the up, that's the rise, and then we did the x's. So I'll show you another example here in a minute. All right, guys, so we're going to do another example here um, where we try to find the slope. So I have a line, and it's going through those two points. You can see it up there. And I want to find the slope, so how much I rise and how much I run. So I can quickly just kind of look at this. I'm just going to do it kind of the old way quick. So I'm going up 2, so I can put my rise as 2. And then my run, I'm going back 2. And I went left, so I'm going to have to put negative 2. So I see here that my slope is 2 over negative 2. Okay, I'll just leave it like that for now. All right, now we want to find it using the new way I showed you, by just looking at the coordinates and doing the change in y over the change in x. So remember, this is the same as finding the rise and run. It's just kind of written a different way. So if I think about this, let's start with the y coordinates. I have a 3 and a 1 for my y coordinates, because remember, it's always x comma y. So I want to find what's the difference between those or how much space. So I'm going to subtract those. So I'm going to start with the 3, and I'm going to subtract the other y coordinate, which is a 1. So 3 minus 1, well, that gives me 2. And that makes sense because in my y's, that's my up and downs, I went up 2. From 1 to 3, I did go up 2. Okay, so now I want to do the run, the change in the x's. So that's like how much I go over. So I'm going to look at my two x coordinates. It's negative 4 and negative 2. Well, I can clearly see that I'm going, it's like there's two spaces in between it, but I need to actually subtract to find the difference. So I'm going to do negative 4, and I'm starting with the negative 4 because I started with the 3 up here. You've got to start with the same set of coordinates. Then I'm going to subtract the negative 2. All right, so when I do that, I'm probably just going to quickly add the opposite. 
a negative 4 plus a positive 2 is actually negative 2. Okay, so my slope is 2 over negative 2, which is what I got before when I did it as well. So just so you guys know too, you can put that negative sign wherever you want. I can put it out front. But 2 over 2, that's the same as 1. So my slope is really negative 1 over 1 as well. You could write it either of these ways. So again, I just did that by looking at the coordinates and finding like how much I went up. That was the rise. So I found kind of like the difference, how much space was between. That's why I subtract. And then I did that going over too for the x's. So let's try to do one with just, if I just give you some coordinates, okay? Now just as a quick refresher, remember it's always x comma y. So to find the slope of a line that goes through these two points, I need to think, I need to do my change in my y coordinates and my change in my x coordinates. Remember, if you're thinking of a graph, my x and my y, the y is really the same as the rise, and the x is, that's the going across, that's the same as the run. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the y's. I'm going to pick my two, two of my y coordinates. I have negative 8, negative 5. I need to find the difference between them because that's how much space is between them. So I'm going to do negative 8 minus my other coordinate is negative 5. So there's my y coordinates. Now I'm going to do my x coordinates also. Now if I started with negative 8 in this one, I have to start with this x coordinate. So it's negative 2 minus my other x coordinate is 3. Okay, so now I just have to subtract these. Okay, up here, I'm going to add the opposite here. So I have negative 8 plus a positive 5. Okay, well, I have more negatives, and then there's three more. Okay, down on the bottom, I'm probably going to add the opposite here. So I have negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. So here is my slope. Now, I, I want to just kind of think about this for a second. I know my slope is 3 fifths, and then I want you guys to kind of think, if I have a negative divided by a negative, that's really a positive. So I need to write that, my slope is really positive 3 fifths. If I quick drew a sketch and I just had a point, let's just kind of think, and I was doing this slope of negative 3, negative 5, so my rise is down 3 and then backwards 5, you can see that the slope is actually positive. Okay, so if you have a negative over a negative, you should rewrite that as a positive 3 fifths. All right, I'd like you guys to try this one on your own. So pl please push pause when you're ready to watch this video, push to watch the solution, push play. All right, so I have two coordinates. I need to find the change in the y over the change in the x. Remember, that's the same as the rise over the run. I'm just trying to do it without looking at a graph. So I'm going to take my two y coordinates. I have negative 2 and 10. So I'm going to subtract negative 2. I'm going to find the difference, so I'm subtracting the 10. Then I need to do my x-coordinates, which are 6 minus the other x-coordinate is negative 4. Okay, now all I need to do is work this out. So negative 2 minus a 10, I'm going to add the opposite, and I get negative 12. And then here I'm going to add the opposite. 6 plus 4 is 10. So my slope is negative 12 over 10. I could simplify this if I wanted. Just divide by 2, top and bottom, and I get negative 6 over 5. So either of these two answers would be correct. All right, we have one more problem we're gonna try. So again, I'm gonna try to find the slope. So I have change in y over change in x. So first thing, I'm gonna take my y coordinates and I need to find the difference between them because again, that shows me how much space is between them. So I'm gonna subtract five minus, the other y coordinate is negative two. Then I'm going to take my x coordinates, which are both 3's, so I'm going to do 3, take away 3, got to find how much space is between those. Okay, so if I work this out, I'm going to add the opposite, and on top I get 5 plus 2 is 7, and then on the bottom I get 3 minus 3, I get 0. So here's what I end up with my for my slope. Now, I want you to look at that carefully. It says 7 over 0. Now, you guys should know that you cannot divide by 0. You cannot have a 0 on the bottom. If that ever happens... That means the slope is undefined, okay? That means that slope, it's a, it's a vertical line because if I kind of think about it, if I just plot these points quick, if I do 3 comma 5 and 3 comma negative 2, what kind of line is that going to make? Well, it's a straight up and down line which has a slope of undefined. All right, last one here. So again, I'm going to do my change in y 
over my change in x. Okay, so this time my y's are the same. I have 3 minus 3, and then my x's are 4 and 5, so I'm going to subtract those. On the top, 3 minus 3 is 0. On the bottom, 4 take away 5, I can add the opposite, I get negative 1. So my slope is 0 over negative 1. Now I have 0 on the top this time. Okay, now that's fine. Okay, if you have 0 on the top, that's okay, because 0 divided by any number is just 0. So this is a slope of 0. Now I want you guys to think, what kind of line has a slope of 0? Well, if you quickly just sketch these points, I have 4, 3, and 5, 3. If I sketch a line, that's a horizontal line, which is like a flat land. It has no slope or a slope of 0. So if you ever get 0 on the top, that's fine. That just means it has 0 slope or no slope. It's a straight straight land, like no, no slope at all. Good. All right, now if anything was confusing on that video, please go back and re-watch. Okay, so again, you don't have to watch the whole thing. Just watch the parts that you are kind of iffy on or if you need to see one more example.